Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading, October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Queen of Cups. Followed by the next one here which stands for the challenges that Taro is offering to you or the brother like is, Taro is telling that you will have to face here and overcome. Hopefully that is going to be the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week for you, Sagittarius, which stands here for the um, Ace of Pentacles. And the last one that is the guidance which Taro is offering to you for throughout the week, that is to be the Tree, uh, the tree of Swords. So once again, the cards before we pick up the reading card by card here, Queen of Cups stands for the general topic and theme of your week, followed by the next one, which is the Knights of Pentacles, representing the challenges you need to overcome, face and overcome. Afterwards, it is the Ace of Pentacles standing for the positive aspect of the week. And the final card here for you, that will be the uh, guidance that Taro is offering, and we do have the Tree of Swords. All right, so uh, Queen of Cups, it will be catalyzed here by the Seven of Wands. So obviously the, um, the topic itself revolves around this person, the uh, Queen of Cups, and that is someone who lets you in in their life i mean i mean that that person is not going to be resistant anymore and i do suspect that that will be for the reason being it is the day um it's 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 kind of like you're building up on an, an emotional connection but it is more like seeing your struggle and knowing that they can help you and they are allowing you to to basically take a part or participation into their life and therefore as having a participation into their life, you are feeling, you will start feeling yourself a bit more secure. Now, the Queen of Cups is usually a person who is very, um, what was the word here, private, or, or like a um, a person who can, who can be discreet, right, in regards to your plights. As a matter of fact, that person as well very much understands what kind of a plight you're going through. And it's uh, this time around throughout this week, it's willing to um, it's willing to give you a shoulder to cry on. I mean, that person is capable of a very deep emotional connection. I do suspect that that could be um, someone who up until this moment, you know, kind of pushed you away, pushed you back. But now they are dropping off their guard and allowing you to be much, much more closer with them. It could regards to forgiveness as well in between friends here. But the point is, is that the Queen of Cups is going to play a major role throughout this week, Sagittarius, in, a, um, in your emotional uh, stability. 
uh, also it looks like that uh, there won't be much of a, a gossips that are going to be uh, are going to affect you as um, this queen i mean that person is gonna take the matters in in their own hands and it will shatter any kind of fallacies lies and gossips that that refer to you or that are addressed to you and undermining your <clears throat> your prestige your authority and your personality the next one it refers to the challenges that you need to overcome overcome and we do have another person knight of pentacles here and it is catalyzed by the king of wands so we are talking about differences in vision with the knight of pentacles in between you and the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles it's a person who knows what they want uh what they want is not necessarily what you want and uh, they they do have uh, i mean the knight of pentacles does have that strategy build up already okay and it is it will be almost impossible for you to reverse their opinion in any way and to make them follow you in any way for that reason so i do believe that we're talking here about a certain detachment the uh, the combination it is a, a passive neutrals and we're definitely seeing here difference in ambition difference in understandings difference in difference in vision of how things should happen and the most important thing it's a, a difference into um the, into the sense of life how you are enjoying life and how they are enjoying life so completely uncon incompatible person it is what you need to overcome throughout the week most likely drifting apart from them so uh just uh, be prepared for it and that could uh, uh that could create a little bit of a poignancy within you and this is where the queen of cups kind of taps in into your life and uh, ease, eases your emotions eases your worries i would say so uh the challenge it's quite big uh because i can't really even find the words about it it's big because it's going to undermine the positive attitude that you do have for the future. Probably you have placed great hopes into the Knights of Pentacles, that kind, that person. And now you you're slowly, progressively starting to understand that that is not your guy, that is not your woman, that is not your partner. <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately, you have to uh, you have to start drift away just like i said and that's why it is important uh, throughout this week sagittarius to remember your goal to remember what what you are striving toward and why are you doing it as well and so you can transform your ideas your ambitions your agendas as well into a powerful drive without the knight of pentacles then uh, the next card here is going to be in regards to the positive aspect we do have the ace of pentacles and it is uh, catalyzed by the knights of wands so this is a another a passive neutrals and uh, the positive aspect is that you can find an opportunity throughout the week to further your goal and you don't and you don't have to even uh search for a long time uh, that is for the reason of the catalyst here i mean you can um, you can go for experimenting for yourself and indulge a little bit more into the joy of life or you can uh, completely focus upon your growth and upon your improvement i would say that way but with those two cards, it doesn't look like that you have to scamper yourself ar around. I mean, you can be very, very focused into your, uh, into your agenda, you know, and into your wish. And uh, the opportunity that you're going to find in general is going to provoke a lot of content, you know, a lot of um, happiness as well. And I would say for some of you also an ecstasy, which is going to be provoked by the uh, pure fact that you are to very quickly understand that you don't need the Knights of Pentacles in order to be either happy, in order to be either loved, you know, or in order to be successful into your business. I mean, you can do these things all on your own. And all that you need is someone that have a sense of, um, I forgot the word again, a, a sense of discreet discreet sense i would say or rather like a sense of discretion okay 
it's willing to contemplate on your emotions, it's willing to talk with you about your plights, and it's willing to give you a shoulder of cry to for you to cry on. From there, you can do everything on your own, and this is what the, this car is pointing. That should you seek you are going to find and you don't have to seek very very hard here with this catalyst of the knights of wands important thing to be said for those two cards guys is that um once you find your niche you should stop searching because with this combination is very uh, easy for you to burn out and through you burning out you can burn as well uh, the um, the chance that you are gonna have throughout the week. And the last card, it is the Tree of Swords that will be about the guidance that uh, Tsar is offering to you, accompanied or catalyzed by the uh, by the devil. So we do have an, an active enemies. And um, it's all connected with the challenge um, because what these two cards here are divulging, it is that you should not allow your mind to fight with the emotions. As long as this is happening, you are going to suffer for the rest of the duration <clears throat> through which your mind is fighting with the emotion, with the emotions. What I mean it is that you need to accept what it is, okay? You can no longer continue your life with the Knights of Pentacles, that person. Well, you got to accept that instead of fighting it, instead of trying to either forget it, instead of trying to uh, to suppress it as well. If you need to drink through it, do it. If you need to sleep through it, draw, do it. You know, if you need to laugh through it, do it. It's, it's, it's very important that you experience the disappointment, the pain, you know, the slumber, if you want to say it that way, because after that, you are going to be reborn. And with the devil, this uh, poignancy is going to be crushed very, very quickly, because um, the, the, this combo points that that person, uh, which is detaching, which you are detaching from, actually, instead of giving you wings, and power they have cutting your wings and they were depriving you from the power to forge your own fate, to forge your, your own future and to create your own circumstances, to create your own life, which from now, for what it seems, slowly but steady will start happening. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 7th to October 13th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.